doing here. When the rest of our country doesn't seem to be able to even find a job, we've got to make sure that those who do have a job are doing it well, doing it appropriately, efficiently, and economically. And our government has grown way too much. We do need to cut. Even the president in the Simpson-Bowles Commission, his debt commission, suggested that we reduce our workforce by 10 percent. I think that's a laudable goal that we bipartisan ought to look at and accomplish. Mr. Ross, if you cut the federal workforce by 5, 10 percent, have you looked into the impacts that would have on government services for oh, the yes. taxpayers? And oh, what yes. would it be? Uh, it, negligible. Negligible. Because we can take away those services that are predominantly non-governmental and start cutting there. Essential government services are exactly why we have the federal government, to provide those services. We don't need to be in the business of business. GSA is an example of that. You know, we can make these cuts. We can reduce our workforce, and we can do it by way of attrition so that we're not laying people off. It is something that we have to take very seriously, that we have to address, because the size of government is becoming greater than the size of the private sector if we're not careful. Carl, Democratic caller in L.A. Yes, I see the Republican Party seem to have selective memory when it comes to the last four years. I don't think the representative realized that um, the four years before that, President Clinton gave President Bush a surplus, and we had two wars that we didn't pay for. So instead of just remembering those four years of Obama, a Democratic president, why don't you remember the whole eight years that Bush was in office and Obama? Because Obama can't just erase the deficit or erase the debt. All right, caller, Mr. Ross, I think you've touched on it a little bit. But I'll touch ahead. on it again. This president has increased our spending, our deficit, by one-third. I'm not here to apologize for what happened under the Bush administration. It, too, was wrong in its spending. But I'm also not here to look for pointing the blame at somebody. I think it's important that we find the solutions, that we, in a bipartisan fashion, implement those solutions. This is an American issue. It's not a Republican or Democrat issue. We all know that logic and reason dictate that expenditures have to be brought down well within our revenues. And that's what we have to address as a Congress, as a bipartisan Congress not as a Republican or as a Democrat. Congressman, one last phone call here for you. Kevin, an independent in Niagara Falls, New York. Hello, and God bless you. Please stand. Um, I would like to ask the Congressman, okay, if you're talking about performance-based pay, when over 70% of the people in America did not want the oil subsidies to go through, why should any congressman, it's just, most of you are rich anyway, why should you get paid at all when you're not doing the will of the people? And you're talking about an agency that, uh, that, that basically pays for itself all but 2%. And you guys are just, uh, the will of the people is not being done whatsoever. Mr. Ross. Again, I understand your frustration, and I wouldn't uh, suggest that you shouldn't have those frustrations. We need to correct those. Uh, as far as what we're paid, I believe me, I did much better in the private sector. Uh, I didn't do this for the money, uh, and I won't do it for a career. But I will tell you that uh, we need to be better stewards of the taxpayers' dollars. And that's going to be our charge uh, that the American people will demand from us. And hopefully, as a result of this GSA investigation, uh, 